And I will say, if you've never been down to Mitchell and seen the Gus Grissom Memorial they have down there, it's a little small, but it's really impactful. Cool place to go. So. I don't know, just throw that out there if you're looking for a fun day <laughs> trip. Okay, we'd like to have a fun day trip with sunshine. I don't remember what sun looks like, frankly, at this point, Chelsea. <laughs> I know, we'll get a little taste of it at the beginning of this week. Okay. Later in the week, we are going to see clear skies. Excellent. So first, we have to get through the cloudiness that we're still dealing with with the storm system that's now off to our east. So that's taking the rain with it. So we're drying out first. We've been pretty breezy behind this system as well. We can see some of those overcast skies. Today, we've had some wind gusts about 30 miles per hour right now. It's out of the northwest at 13 miles per hour, creating that wind chill just a degree below freezing with that air temperature of 39. So colder air is mixing in. However, that the cloudiness is going to hold our temperatures steady for this evening, only dropping down a few more degrees. But right now it's 42 in Shelbyville. 40 in Bloomington, 38 in Greencastle and in Lafayette. So it's turning into a chilly evening, but overnight temperatures will only be dropping down to the low 30s, right around freezing to start off your morning tomorrow. But we're going to start off with a lot of cloud cover and then during the afternoon and evening clouds are going to try to break away for peaks of sunshine before sunset. That is at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. So here's our precipitation tracker. We will have have another chance for a wintry mix, especially on Tuesday morning, some lighter chances throughout the rest of the day. And then on Wednesday, we're going to be a little bit drier as well. So here's future track 13, putting it into motion. You can still see that cloud cover tomorrow around noon and then watch this. Clouds are going to try to clear out to see a little bit of that sunshine before sunset, but then they're going to be moving right back in with our next storm system. That's going to swing a cold front through our area as some of that colder air mixes in. And we'll have a mix of rain and snow to start off your Tuesday morning. That's going to quickly slide to the east by the second half of the day on Tuesday. We'll likely switch over to all rain as those temperatures warm up. But as that system starts to slide a little bit farther south over our area, going back into Tuesday evening and during the overnight hours, some spits of a wintry mix will still be possible for that time frame. So here's your seven day forecast tomorrow, a high of 39. It's going to be partly to mostly cloudy, a little bit more of that sunshine being able to peek through as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. That wintry mix, especially on Tuesday morning, high of 38. Temperatures are going to start to climb as we roll into the beginning of February on Thursday and even high temperatures pushing the 50 so it's going to be relatively mild and we're going to have a lot of sunshine as well. Groundhog Day on Friday with a high of 40, but then we start to cool back down as we roll into the first weekend of February with temperatures, high temperatures in the 30s, overnight lows in the 20s.